Howdy cowpokes, I've, I've come to you today with a slight discussion. Very, very slight. I would like to discuss something I'm noticing in the industry, although this is nothing new, and this is for many different entertainment mediums like movies and such, TV shows, cartoons, what, you, what do you call it? You name it. I'm noticing a thing with remakes and remasters as of, as of late very recently. Some prominent ones. The, the, the two ones I'm going to be discussing is, or are, excuse me, the Mass Effect <clears throat> Legendary Edition and this The Last of Us remake. So, there's a new Mass Effect game coming. Uh, not not this remaster, a remaster of the first three games, but a new Mass Effect, like a sequel, prequel, whatever. It's going to be continuing the Mass Effect series, basically, and that's all we know. It will come out eventually. They have announced it. They have a cinematic trailer, barely show it, more, more of a cinematic teaser than anything, you know, no gameplay or nothing. Before that, though, before that comes out, they are just, you know, on the side because they can. They are releasing Mass Effect Legendary Edition, a remaster of the Mass Effect Trilogy. To modernize it, I guess make it more accessible to people, and I guess to get people pumped for the new Mass Effect. Now, The Last of Us remake. So this news is fresh. Uh, reports from IGN all sorts of outlets. I'm sorry, I don't know the names of them. The main one I know is IGN and many others. You can look it up. Jason Schreier, a very no no notable person who brings us news in the gaming industry. There are reports that Sony is focusing on a remake of 2013's The Last of Us. Keep in mind, The Last of Us is a PS3 game that is seven, maybe eight years old now, that we're in 2021. One year later, in 2014, it got a remaster on the PS4, where it looks a little bit better, runs at smooth 60 FPS. Uh, anything else that came with it? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think that's just about it, you know? Uh, as good as a remaster as, as the name implies. Now, they, they have released the game in 2013, a remaster in 2014, and now this supposed remake. However, it might have, to me, it's not supposed to. This is coming. And many other people hold that sentiment. Also, a side one, one that I didn't even think of. Life is Strange. True Colors. And just on the side, because they can, Life is Strange Remastered. So, what's, what's the point I'm making here? So, my boy told me, before the, the first of the many remakes that we've heard of, my, my boy told me about his thoughts on the Legendary Edition and why they're doing it. His theory, his working theory, is that the reason they're making this this remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy is because the trilogy is the only good part of Mass Effect, excluding 3's ending. We'll never forget that. So, to gain the trust of fans and, and boost sales, and just, you know, give people that slither of hope that they may have forgotten about Andromeda and what he assumes is going to be the mess that is the next Mass Effect game, they are releasing this remaster on the side. I didn't believe him. Uh, not saying that I have full faith in the next Mass Effect or this Legendary Edition, but I'm very interested in purchasing this remaster because I want to replay the games uh, and just erase any memory of what ever, excuse me, of what ever the heck <laughs> that god dang ending was. However, when I'm hearing talks about this Last of Us remake, think about this. The Last of Us Part 2 just came out just about a year ago. Approaching, it's, it's approaching a, a year since it's been released. They're talking about doing an HBO show that's going to be touching on both games, and it's going to be starting with the first game and its events, right? Okay. And now we're getting a remake. Do, do you see what's going on here? To a lot of people, 
I don't know if I would include myself, but to a lot of people, the golden age of games has passed. That time has passed. Games suck nowadays, it's hard to get it- I, I, I can agree with the sentiment. It's very hard for me, nigh impossible, for me to get excited for games nowadays, like upcoming releases and whatnot. N no, I, I, I have no emotion or feelings about games that I'm hearing are coming out because I have been disappointed so many times. Honestly, at the start of this generation, too. Like, the, the, the ones that I'm thinking of that just really braze my, my eggs are, are like For Honor, which is from 2015, if I'm not mistaken, Evolve, which is from 2014 or 2013, one of those years. Call of Duty, that's no longer interesting to me anymore. The last Call of Duty game I bought was Black Ops 3. Which is back to back to back to back to back failures. And a as of late, uh, I've been playing so many of these older games that are, are on last gen for 360 and PS3. Uh, you know, when I had my PS4, you know, that's how I got into the, the Last of Us. I started with the first one. And then just back to back disappointments. The Last of Us Part 2! infamous disappointment worldwide. One of the worst games ever created, arguably the worst game ever created, which is now touted as, the, the, objectively, the best game ever made. So because of this just lack of, of faith now in any of these companies, heck, look, CD Projekt Red, another huge disappointment. Mind you, though, that's, that's one that I was never interested in, so I can't talk about that one personally. That's just another example. Back to back to back to back to back failures from these companies. Millions of losses of L's by Bioware recently, throughout the years. It's incredible that, it, that they didn't get shut down. To many people, Dead Space 3 was a huge failure to a series that was beloved. I, I don't think so. I like Dead Space 3, but you know, I, I think majority of people don't like Dead Space 3. Uh, majority of them dislike it more than they like it, which I can understand why. And so I really think I have to agree with- wow. I think I really have to agree with my friend and what's going on. We're getting all of these remasters because there is- I don't know if the talent's gone. Obviously money has become a huge driving factor into the industry now. I, I mean, I won't say gone are the days of passion, but good lord, you can really tell where some companies, I, I guess, where their priorities are. And it is not to please fans or make incredible games or make incredible new IPs that'll have an, an amazing legacy. I had to find a different word for incredible at that time. You can tell it really is to make money. Just think of how many soulless husks of games have came out. Like the whole Battle Royale genre. So many soulless games just in that, in that small genre in this vast industry. Just throughout, what, like the past three years or so? Time has really been passing fast, so it's kind of hard to believe that there's it's been that long, I guess, since we've seen all these games come out. But it really does put it in perspective. So three re one remake and two remasters that I can think of for... Uh, let's see. Last of Us is a very prominent IP. <laughs> was. <laughs> Mass Effect was a very prominent IP until it got... Uh, until it got ran into the grave by freaking Bioware and EA, and it all started with Mass Effect 3's ending. I, I'm a firm believer that all of Bioware's failures are because of the ending of Mass Effect 3. <laughs> it doomed the French, not the franchise, it doomed that whole company, and that's why they haven't made a, a single good thing since, I guess with one exception I, I'm going to assume being Dragon Age Inquisition, which I believe is also made by Bioware, but I have not personally played that, although it is on the hit list for me to complete. Last of Us Remake? That's the, the Last of Us Remake, that's just part of the New World Order, you know? Like, they're gonna make the HBO show, it's gonna retcon everything, it's gonna have... Uh, let, let me find... let me find the thing. Let, let me find... let me find this picture I took. Someone on 4chan... <laughs> ...predicted... <laughs> Someone on 4chan predicted what they're going to do in The Last of Us Remake. So he here's the small checklist they put. Joel starts his rampage literally the second he finds out Ellie is about to die. Every single one of his kills is a scripted and brutal display, and after every one, someone d screams the character's name from off screen. A child appears and runs to his father's body, picking up his weapon to defend himself. Joel executes the child. <laughs> no witnesses. <laughs> Somebody screams the kid's name. Joel kills whoever keeps screaming names. <laughs> Joel kills at least four cute fluffy dogs on his way to the surgery room. 
he then bursts into the surgery room and beats the doctor to death with his bare hands while he begs for mercy. The player gets a first person view of this, God of War style. He plays Russian roulette with the two other doctors. He cheats both times and just pulls the trigger until the gun goes off. Once he gets worried, he might lose. He takes Ellie and heads into the parking lot where he doesn't even talk to Marlene. He just shouts the N-word hard R and puts a bullet in her skull. I can believe it. I can believe it because we all know what the HBO show is going to be. It's being written by by Conman himself. And th this remake, I, I imagine, it's not a remaster. Oh, it, do not forget, remasters and remakes are two different things. Remaster. Usually just upping the visuals and the performance, but not changing anything else really. Maybe maybe implementing a few quality of life things, but overall it's the same game, just feeling better. Remake is something like Demon Souls. A complete overhaul, usually on a new engine. Maybe some minor touch-ups on the on the narrative of the game. Depending on what on what type of game it is. Basically it's a much bigger production than a, than a remaster. So when I'm thinking of a remake, I'm thinking of rewriting things and really changing it up while Life is Strange and Mass Effect are getting a remaster. But these remasters, the Mass Effect remaster is coming before the new Mass Effect game. And the Life is Strange remaster, I think, is the opposite. I think the new Life is Strange game is coming out. Excuse me. The new Life is Strange game will come out and then they'll follow it up with the remaster. Very, very, very interesting isn't it? It's a real shame, man. It is a real shame. And there's also another element to all this. Not only is it suspicious as all heck, Among Us reference, but there's also a level, a huge level of hypocrisy in these things. Because, okay, I, I, I was on Twitter, and I know, do not ever think of these social media sites as the, the whole of an audience. Don't think of subreddits and Twitter threads, no matter how many, how much inter how much interaction they get, don't ever think of those as the the entirety of so something's audience. That's always a small minority. More people don't engage with those types of things. But I was I was scrolling through Twitter, and pretty much majority the masses on that social media are saying why regarding the Last of Us remake is why is this needed? Why is this being done? No one asked for this. Da 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 da. da this that and the third. And of course. I would agree, but there's an element of hypocrisy to all this, because no, regardless of that being what everyone says, when the Last of Us remake does drop, irregardless of, <laughs> of what it is, how amazing it is, how horrible it likely is going to be, <laughs> it will sell like hot cakes, and we all know that. Because regardless of what people say, that excuse me, I'm rapping. The heck, this dude's challenging me to a duel when the whole town's been eva uh, eviscerated. What's it called? They will always sell like hotcakes, and I, and I don't know why. Another example, and it's perfect for the game that I'm playing. People want, people want a lot of things from Rockstar. One of those things being, at least from the Red Dead Redemption community, is pretty much vast majority want a remake of this first Red Dead Redemption game. And yet, at the same time of wanting a remake of Red Dead Redemption, people are also waiting on epic GTA 6 news, among many other IPs that Rockstar has, like Bully, Bully 2, Manhunt 3. I, I don't know if Max Payne is finished, maybe... I've never heard of a Max Payne 4 being wanted, so I'll assume Max Payne's done, but uh, many of their other IPs that I can't think of at the moment. Think about it, man. Think. Because I really believe my, my, my boy in, in that... in his uh, suspicion as to why these things are being peddled out all of a sudden. The Mass Effect one, I get, uh, really, when I'm putting any amount of thought into it, it is blatantly obvious that, yeah, that, that's exactly what's going on here. Biowares have ran their name into the ground, like, into the Earth's freaking core, the, the, the core of magma, which is how many failures they have put out. As I said, it, it's a miracle EA hasn't killed them off like they did Visceral Games and many other studios that they own. They are a kingpin in the industry. Like that, it's super obvious. They, they've put out thousands of failures. Hyperbole. Anthem. 
Mass Effect Andromeda, two failures, Mass Effect Resending, franchise ruining for a lot of people. And so they're releasing a remaster to say, hey, look, the games that you loved, minus this one tiny thing that I guess maybe we'll say half the fan base doesn't really mind. Here, look, the things you love, new and improved. Please buy it now. I can't talk on Life is Strange, because that's not a. I, I've played all of the Life is Strange games, but my investment in them is very low, so I, I can't slander them potentially. But now this thing with The Last of Us. That franchise has been killed, <laughs> and its name is being driven into the mud, <laughs> and it is being properly milked. Like GTA V. Think of it. 2013, game releases. 2014, game re-releases for the next-gen console. Sequel releases six years later from the, from, the, from the remaster. We'll say realistically seven years later from the original game. HBO show that's going to be retconning a million things and rewriting stuff. And then follow it up and just put the nail in, in the coffin with a remake of the first game. Which isn't even that old. The game's seven years old, and it looks great. It's perfectly accessible. Like, something that I sort of understand with, with wanting a Red Dead Redemption uh, remake is that this game isn't easy to access to a lot of people. They never release it on PC because they barely got the game to, to, to run enough to, to release. Like, this game's launch is kind of a developmental nightmare, but they got it done. And, and But unfortunately, due to those faults, they never... You're going to shoot at me? There we go. They were never able to get it to PC. Um, on PlayStation, I hear you can only play it through this service called PS Now, where you, I guess you stream games to, to play, but apparently it's much worse quality, so basically the best place to play Red Dead Redemption is through Xbox with its backwards compatibility, because Xbox is goaded. So that, you know, due to its lack of accessibility to a lot of people, I could sort of understand it from that front. But The Last of Us is an incredibly easy game to, to, to get. It is on PlayStation 3, on disc. They just shut down the stores, so can't talk there. But it is remastered on PlayStation 4 and 5. You can purchase it digitally or physically for that. And there's nothing wrong with it. It looks well. It looks great. It runs amazing. Like, uh, there's nothing else I can say without repeating myself. Like, there's no logical reason that I can think of as to why this needs a remake. Except the New World Order. <laughs> I can't say the New World Order so much with the Mass Effect Legendary Edition nonsense. Th that's more so just, as my boy said, that's just... It's just masking the smell of dung. That's that's the poopery, you know, the the drops that you put in in the toilet after you drop a deuce. That that's basically w what the legendary edition is. It's dropping the nice scent in the toilet as EA drops a humongous black coil <laughs> into the toilet bowl with their next Mass Effect game. Did I say EA? EA and Bioware, as they drop that black coil together, it'll be a team effort to just finish off the franchise hor horribly. Faith is at an all-time low, as you can hear. It's honestly incredible how many people have faith in this next Mass Effect game. I don't know how you could. Especially because no one likes the ending of 3, so it's like the wounds are deep. It's not like Mass Effect 3 ended the trilogy on a great note, and then Andromeda was just a bad entry. No. 3 killed the franchise for people. Andromeda just coated the fans in urine, in vinegar, in piss and vinegar, and yet for some reason people, honest to god, have modicum, a modicum of faith for the next Mass Effect title. Like, the gaming industry is so freaking weird with what they have faith in, how they never, how we never talk with our wallets, like I'm not gonna say this like I'm not included, like I, I play games, I have, I have, what's it called, like I bought Dark Souls Remastered. Like, I, of course, I, I play EA games, like, they, they, there's... <sighs> there's hypocrisy on all fronts, man. Especially because so many of these, so many of these companies are kingpins, and basically if you want to boycott them, there are so many games that you then can't play, and so many good games that you then can't play because you're trying to make a statement. Like, if I didn't want to support EA, 
I would have to disavow things like Dead Space, which I think is a, is a great franchise, one of my favorites. I just can't. I can't put myself to do that. Can't. Same goes with all the other big names in the industry. So, funny situation. I cannot wait to see what this incredible The Last of Us remake entails, because it is going to be nothing short of comedy. I, I am so assured of it. The only thing, personally, that I can think of that may have warranted... I'll, I'll tell you why I'm saying it like that. What may have warranted a remake was basically, I guess, the Encounters mode that The Last of Us... Sorry, The Last of Us Part 2 has. But it's not... I don't know nothing about game development, right? But I imagine they still have the resources needed to update The Last of Us, because they recently did that when the PS5 dropped, and it significantly reduced load times. So I imagine they still have whatever, source code, whatever the heck they need to make changes to the game. So, with that in mind, could they maybe update it and add an encounters mode? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, and I really shouldn't... Sh I, I really shouldn't speak on the matters. So maybe I'll retract my statement, but... This is going to be an, an incredible debacle when all these things come out, when all these remasters drop at once, because, man, I don't think I've ever heard of so many being released in such... in such um, close proximity to each other. As said, Life is Strange remastered, which was probably the most jarring. Actually, no, The Last of Us is... If, if I'm doing a jarring tier list right now... Life is Strange is in second place. Last of Us is in... is in first place, and this Mass Effect thing is in last place, but not like it's any less jarring. Because, like, really, who who is asking for a Life is Strange remaster? The game's not that old. They look fine. The only problem is the atrocious lip-syncing. Because I said, that one's a remaster, not a remake, so nothing's gonna change about it. I said, I won't touch too much on Life is Strange, because I'm not... I don't have the, the right to speak on that. I've played it, but investment, not that crazy. But that's about it. I, I would have done this over some Undead Overrun gameplay, but eh, I, I didn't bother. I figured I'd use the invincibility cheat and just mess around here. I don't know why I always go to this game to do these types of videos right now. It's weird. What do I need to do after this? I need to play GTA V before it gets off of Game Pass in like a month. But yeah, that's about it. There is a huge mess going on in this industry. Oh, it always has been. You know, it's been a mess for, for, for years now, but man, it is really, really highlighting right now with just this complete lack of originality and lack of, I guess, faith that the companies even have, because it's not like the companies don't know what they're doing. Like this Legendary Edition Mass Effect thing, they, they, they know exactly why they're releasing this, because people are should be, they, rightfully so, they should be extremely sketched out. <laughs> Crackhead sketched out about the idea of another Mass Effect game. Like, let, let's let's keep it about 7,000. Who's who's excited about Mass Effect anymore? After 3's ending, Andromeda. Who cares? Just, just leave the corpse alone. <laughs> it's time has passed. If you're not going to fix 3's ending, just leave it alone to rot. Leave it dead and buried. And hopefully we can learn from the mistakes and do greater trilogies. Oh, and the huge important piece of news that I forgot to say throughout the whole video in regards to the Last of Us remake is that, supposedly also in these reports, is that they have put on halt, or just outright cancelled for now, a Days Gone sequel in favor of The Last of Us remake. What? <laughs> what? What? Like, what parody world do we live in <laughs> where stuff is happening? Like, I, I think we've gone full... We've gone full parody. We've gone full South Park turned reality, at least in this industry. It, it is incredible. It is absolutely incredible how all of this trash is happening at once now. Like before, you might not you might not have noticed it because you know they they were separating it. There were some great releases coming out in between the upsets, in between the Fallout 76s, in between the anthems and whatnot. But now, right now, there is another drought. I think 
where it's just looter shooter trash, battle royale this, battle royale that, free to play this, free to play that, remaster, remaster, remake. Like, there is nothing spicy going on right now. Everyone is, is starved for something good at the moment. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But it does leave for some good comedy. I mean, dude, ever since I played The Last of Us Part 2, there's been so much comedy entered into my life now, as my eyes have been opened that much more into just what the heck is going on in this mess of an industry that I will continue to participate in. Absolutely amazing. Miraculous, even. But, who knows? Maybe the Legendary Edition will fix Mass Effect 3's ending. Maybe the Last of Us remake will not change anything significant, and it will just look like as beautiful as the Last of Us Part... Sorry, the Last of Us Part 2! And nothing more. No other story changes. And, I don't know, maybe Life is Strange will become the next objectively greatest game ever made, breaking 300 Game of the Year awards within six months. Who knows? That's it. Wrap done. Get me out of here.